Hello, hello. Welcome to the 420 at 420. It's not anymore, but it was. Thank you, stream. So thanks very, very, very much for being here, Lauren. I appreciate that swift mod work there. And you wanted me to take away your mod privileges. Huh? I don't know. But yeah, I thought, like I promised at least two people to do a 420 at 420 stream. So you can't let even two people down. You shouldn't even really let one person down in life. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blast my way through Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Continue a bit of the Sega love. So I can obviously talk about my time with the company. And the fact that I got to work on the Xbox 360 version of this game. So uh, this was my job for two months. Good times. Yeah, just... Uh, look at all them pictures there. You just heard Sonic's theme. It Doesn't Matter, followed by Unknown from Emmy, Knuckles' theme from Sonic Adventure 1, because we're obviously very, very excited about Idris Elba. He's not confirmed as Bond yet, but he is playing bloody Knuckles. Knuckles the Echidna, trying to get my new, used to my new setup. It's over there. Um, yeah, uh, well, Sonic Colors Ultimate's just come out, Lauren. I'm gonna be playing that on Sega Saturday. Uh, but yeah, there's a new collection coming, I know that, including Sonic 3 and Knuckles for the first time in a long time. This is, uh, I'm running the, the actual cartridges here, so it's a fun time. Check that out, Lauren. Mega Drive, yeah? None of this Genesis. Phil Collins has got nothing to do with it. Well, very little. I mean, he's, he's always involved somehow. Uh, Bloody rascal. Is it sounding okay, by the way? Elgato seems pretty damn low. Can I get that up a bit? Because the tunes are that banging. That's just very quiet in general. Let me just uh, fire up the old stream and then we'll dive into this playthrough. How's everybody doing tonight? This morning? Thank you for joining me. I'm humbled once again by your presence. One quiet Mega Drive. I could dial down my voice to a bit, I would imagine. Yo, live on air editing once again. It's my favourite, it's your favourite. And now it's Bro's Knuckles. So, this is not one of the Michael Jackson tracks. There's a lot of different stories out there, but it's basically, basically been confirmed that yes, Jackson did do, or at least worked on, the soundtrack for uh, Sonic 3. Good start there. Excellent start. With Brad Boxer, the keyboardist from the Jetsons. Because if you want to hear the amazing Ice Cap music with lyrics, 
If you want to check out Hard Times by the Jetsons, it's absolutely amazing. It's on Spotify. It was just incredible to, to find out that one of my favourite Sonic BGMs from back in the day was a, an 80s pop song and had lyrics. Much like uh, finding out the uh, Eliminator song from Gladiators has lyrics. They were both the two key uh, turning points in my, in my life. Speaking of turning points, key turning points. Uh, the chills I just got watching uh, Brian Danielson and Kenny Omega square up in that ring. Yes please, absolute magic. Take my money now. Thank you very much. I'm so glad they're going straight into the uh, Omega Brian program. Oh, it's way too early in the morning for this. I've got to get blue balls. I always thought as a youngster that they should have swapped around the colours for when you're playing with knuckles. You know, get red balls. Could have been easy to do, but whatever. But they didn't. That's a tragedy. Chaos Emerald 1 down already. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be interested to see what they do with the music in the new collection. Because uh, there's a PC version that you've always been able to get of uh, Sonic and Knuckles. And first of all, the MIDI representations of songs like this are garbage. And the replacements for the Jackson tunes are, you know, some, some of the worst video game music I've ever heard. That's probably an over-exaggeration, but it's not good doesn't live up to these standards, that's for sure. Yeah, I really wanted to carry on a bit of the Knuckles action today. I know it's really small and stupid, but the fact that you can make your character look up, you can kind of make them emote to different points in the story, which I always used to dig back in the day. Plus, you know, you can make them dance. Let's go for... Ooh. What am I thinking? All right, no pressure, but let's go for Chaos Emerald 2. Back down, please. Thank you, sir. Yeah, exactly. So, they're definitely not going to leave the, the Michael Jackson music as is. It'd be cool. It's not going to happen. There's a... Uh, there's a later episode of The Simpsons. Oh yeah, the one where Marge and Homer are singing that song at the start on the piano. That, you know, found the guy then uh, stole for the intro and, you know, Michael Jackson still was black. So why, why didn't you edit that? Why didn't you uh, redact that Michael Jackson line? Huh? Disney Plus? Huh? Answer me! I'm not going for perfects because I don't need to. I've got nothing to prove. Right? Is playing video games on Twitch proving something? Or is it about chilling out and having fun? Tonight we're going to finally find out an answer to that question. And all the other un unanswered questions of mankind that have plagued mankind for generations. Like, uh, is Jaffa Cake a biscuit or a cake? It's a cake, the clue's in the name, done. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? It's set at Christmas, that's for sure. It's going real fast now. These Blue Sphere stages are great, aren't they? Um, obviously using uh, Mega Drive wizardry to put your characters on a 3D spherical planet. AJ Styles wouldn't know what to do with this information. Ah, did they indeed. Yeah, I mean, I the, the DVD box sets are worth keeping because, you know, of stuff like the Jackson episode. But also, the commentaries are, are just fantastic. Uh, the special features are okay, especially if you like Butterfinger ads. Ooh. But yeah, the commentaries are amazing. Do recommend. 
I really want to do them again soon. I've set up the uh, CRT TV in my bedroom for uh, uh, light gun game shenanigans. So uh, I might uh, whack the uh, Simpsons DVD in the DVD VHS combo that I've just plugged into the CRT TV in 2021 and get some of those Simpsons DVD commentaries going because they're phenomenal. I don't usually go back and watch series one and two, but I definitely do those with the commentaries. Yeah. Now, I was complaining about the Sonic Mania bosses earlier on. I will say that Sonic 3 and Knuckles bosses are a lot better. I think they might have the best. It's either that or two. The Sonic 2 bosses. Knuckles exclusive area, everybody. So we are privileged right now because it's just us and Idris Elba. Among the privileged few, you get to see these Knuckles secret areas. I mean, Idris, Idris Elba is probably playing this game right now, getting into the role method. Yeah, he knows. He knows what side his bread is buttered. Right. I'm now just thinking of what all the creative people on the internet are going to do. Stuff like splicing in Idris Elba's dialogue from Suicide Squad over footage of Knuckles talking. And having Knuckles go, oh, for fuck's sake. Thereby creating, finally, the perfect version of Knuckles. Yeah, I do. I, I was thinking that earlier on, Lauren, uh, during a Butterfinger advert, during Dynamite, I was just watching. Um, when compared to the marketing muscle behind it and how popular it is because, you know, me living in England you know, getting the Simpsons DVDs for example and seeing all the Butterfinger, you know, it, it, it's a very famous chocolate bar but it's not, it's not great, is it? And, and I love peanut butters and chocolate stuff like the American uh, Twix that you can get that's sort of like dark cookie and peanut butter oh. Yes! Please. Um, but yeah, Butterfinger's kind of kind of lame. You know. I mean, if anyone said to you that Butterfinger was their favourite chocolate bar, you'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Knuckles' glide is so great, but that little cheeky slide after it is brilliant as well. You don't want to be on that bridge as soon as it catches on fire. It's basically invisible and you are dead if you're on it. Wish I had a flame shield, but what are you going to do? And see, Knuckles fights the egg robo. He doesn't fight Robotnik. Because Robotnik's all like, Yo, hey, Sonic's the bad guy. Uh, oh, you'll see a robot version of me running around as well. He's also the bad guy. It's confusing. Hmm. Picture's gone all weird. How long has it been doing that? Hmm. Was it just because of the waterfall, I wonder? That's the craziest, craziest video glitch I've ever seen on Twitch in my life. I'm going to have to uh, investigate that later. Yeah, it seems to be alright now. But yes, yeah, so I'm not actually playing on a Mega Drive, I'm playing on the analog uh, Mega SG. Which is basically like... Uh, it's used FPGA hardware to recreate the Mega Drive as accurately as possible on the inside and uh, analog guarantee uh, quality and uh, compatibility. And my gosh, do you get that? Because look at it, it's crisp, clear 1080p or 720p on the stream. Thank you, Talk Talk. But it's just gorgeous, it's so crisp. And uh, you know, you can edit. The video, you know, make it widescreen, make it 720p, 1080p. It could also, it can also run. How do I get out of this now? There we go. It also runs like uh, stupid slow power games at full NTSC speed, which is great. Because I've obviously got a games collection full of power games. Oh yeah, well obviously I've not been on stream so we haven't talked about stuff like that uh, 
brilliantly timed Domino's beats round, and then Domino's had to ruin it afterwards, didn't they? Like, blah blah blah. Um, can you believe that news about Triple H? That is that really kind of shook me because, like I said, you don't. He seems. I know it's a genetic heart condition that runs in his family, but you know, when you hear of something happen to someone so relatively young, like, oh, Jesus Christ, it's a shock. I hope uh, you know speedy recovery. To the game, the cerebral assassin, and the best one, the ass kicker. Give me my water shield. Look at that parallax scrolling up. In the back, you can't beat it. Got my water shield. How does Knuckles glide underwater? Only Idris Elba has the answer to that question. Like, because, um, being a, an old school Sonic fan, you know, back in the day, over the years I've learned to seriously temper my expectations and not get excited about much stuff Sonic related. So I wasn't, you know, I was curious about the movie. I was really happy with the redesign, even though I didn't think, like, I didn't think it was going to make a difference. I thought I saw that footage in the original trailer, and I was like, a redesign is not going to fix this, but it did. And I got nothing against Ben Schwartz as well. I think, you know, he's a great choice for Sonic's voice. But um, yeah, I thought the movie was like I was pleasantly surprised. And if I went in super excited, I think I would have been let down. But I went in low expectations and I enjoyed it but now because Knuckles is in it and he's being voiced by Stringer Bell I am fucking jazzed hyped for Sonic the Hedgehog 2 oh I hope they do another Sonic Tuesday that's how you do marketing you know because, you know because Sonic 2 came out on a Tuesday Tuesday? You get it. I've compared these, uh, the, the original Sonic games on the Mega Drive, all four of them, uh, to favourite albums. Because even before there was a scene called the retro game scene, over the years I would always throw these games on every once in a while, because it's like listening to a favourite album. It's that kind of you know, rather than playing a modern FPS once and never playing it again, this is more like uh, throwing on songs for the deaf. Four Sonic Mega Drive games. Four amazing Queens of the Stone Age albums. I was a Kotaku journalist, I could write a comparison article. Somebody pitch that. I can't be bothered. Don't. I want pizzas now, Lauren. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed the Nick Gage match. I know uh, everyone has to clarify. No, I don't enjoy deathmatch wrestling. But I, you know, I'm not a deathmatch wrestling guy. I don't. I don't seek out GCW shows or anything like that. Um, but you know, I, you know, I thought the Jericho Gage match was really, really cool. They did the right amount of uh, garbage wrestling. The light tubes were great. The hurricane runner through the glass pane was like fantastic. I think it was my my favourite out of the labors of Jericho. I'm trying to remember what the other ones were now, apart from Juice and Wardlow. And, uh, you know. But yeah. Very happy for both men to move on to something else now. Excellent uh, MJF promo tonight. Did you see it? Getting the word mid over. You people here. All mid. Are you mid, Lauren? I've forgotten where you come from. In America. It's a good job uh, he doesn't drown during the, the stat screen. Huh? Has the screen done that batshit crazy thing again? Because that was batshit crazy. Act 2 Remix.
Dun, 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 dun. Just checking the sound levels. Just want to explain for future generations who see this footage that uh, I was checking the sound levels there. I wasn't being bad at Sonic and Knuckles because I'm never bad at Sonic and Knuckles. Oh god, I'm gonna get squished. Shit. Don't tell Idris. I only heard the term mid for either middle or sub -high. Yeah, well, you know, MJF is talking about the Midwest. And then he was just basically saying everything in this town is mid. And I was like, yeah, that's funny. I was like, eh, 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 mid. But yeah, are you from the Midwest? You don't have to be specific or answer at all. But, uh, yeah. How you been generally in the last uh, three months? Uh, BTW. Everything's been as grand as possible. In this, in this crazy world. I, I will say that Knuckles' is mania sprite is maybe a bit too pink. I know he's been pink, red, and everything in between. But I, I do like a more solid red, and this is this is a great looking Knuckles sprite right here. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. I know, yeah, yeah, mid, like, mid, middle of the road, medium, not, not great, you know. But hey, at least he wasn't saying that they were completely shit. Ah, you know, like that maneuver. Come on, you can do it. No. <laughs> See what I mean? And then I don't I don't just compare them to albums because of the great music. It's the music, but it's the atmosphere of the zones, it's the feel of the gameplay. And sure, some of that will be a bit of nostalgia. I'm not uh, gonna pretend nostalgia doesn't exist, it absolutely does. But like I alluded to earlier on, uh, well, some games do get shit over time or become harder to play because you know you go back to the PS1 or N64 game, it would be hard to see what's going on. But I, I truly believe that a good game is a good game forever. And it is art, alright? So don't. You know? tell you one thing that I wish that they put into Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, a, pro a proper Super Sonic theme, because the invincibility theme gets real old real fast. At least the Sonic and Knuckles one is better than the Sonic 3 one that sounds like it was written by a five-year-old. I wonder if that was an MJ joint. No, don't need it, mate. I've got my water shield. It's all that I'll ever need. Oh, that was obviously going to happen, wasn't it? <laughs> Clip that. Bollocks! <sighs> I'm so smug about not needing that bonus ring. Of course, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Wee! Look how confused and surprised he looks when he goes down the slide. Is Idris Elba going to be able to nail that? It's too soon to tell. I love this part of the level. You can never get all the way back up, but it's still pretty cool. I wanted to go back down there, so... Yeah, the Sonic Mania bosses are, not only are they sometimes boring and not that much fun, they can be really long, like the Hydro City one, or the Hydro City. Oh, this is where you get the Knuckles cutscene, but not this time. Because, I can't remember, obviously some diehard Sonic fan will be able to tell me this, but I would imagine Knuckles' playthrough happens before Sonic's. Gotta believe. Uh, the Daphne news was super sad, especially, and it was one of those situations where, you know, it's like, oh, they put out a really distressing video, and I'll get in touch with them. 
and you just pray that those stories end. Uh, not like this. So, rest in peace, for sure. Um, the concussion stuff. Oh, yeah, I mean, well, it's, just, it's just really sad. Yeah, God bless Chris Kaminsky and all the, the work they're doing. With CTE. Uh, however, in Sonic Mania, switching it off and let you uh, let you pilot this little uh, robotic vehicle is a nice touch for sure. Fucked it. Pro gamer, 100%, 5 star, best game played. Put it on the list. I ruined it. Ruined it at the end by talking nonsense. Thank you for joining me tonight, everybody. It's the 420 thank you stream at 420 a.m. Obviously doing a 420 stream at 420 a.m. 420, by the way, is the amount of followers I've reached. That I should explain, I should clarify. Obviously, I'm asking for, the, for, for two followers to leave me. But hey, in the meantime, cheers. Marble Garden Zone is a zone that oft gets forgotten. And there's some annoying bits in it, for sure. Um, and in Sonic Generations, they brought the spinning tops back, which everyone, I'm sure, was super thrilled about. But the music's funky. You know, the spinning tops are kind of funky, but this level is kind of funky. And um, it's just the music for two sacks. But this game at the time, Sonic and Knuckles, right? So I, um, by the way, you'll notice I'm using the ADHD tag now, which is a new tag because, uh, yeah, spread awareness. I have been diagnosed with ADHD. I have it. It's answered a lot of questions in my life. And um, the reason why I mentioned that is to clarify this. I uh, misbehaved too much on our family holiday to America. Um, late turn out, ADHD, so thanks, Mum and Dad. Uh, just kidding. But <laughs> I wasn't good enough to get Sonic 3, so I had to sit this game out. But I was allowed to get Sonic 4, as it were, uh, and even though I didn't have Sonic 3, you know, the fact that you could connect the cartridge to 2 to play through the whole game as Knuckles, which is absolutely brilliant. Missing a sound effect from the glide slide, but apart from that, just, just, just phenomenal. Although, like I said, Final Boss in Sonic 2 gets really hard if you're Knuckles. Uh, but you know you can do infinite blue sphere in Sonic One as well, and I I, I felt really proud because I discovered the press A, B, and C thing nice. together. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, when you finally get Sonic Three and Knuckles together, and you get this huge game, just incredible. I'm very lucky because my why am I saying this? Touch wood. My cartridge still saves. Apparently, uh, the Sonic Three cartridge doesn't use the battery save that so many did up until recently, right? My Pokemon Blue save dead. My fighting team of six Mewtwo's gone forever. But my Sonic 3 saves are still intact, which is which is just awesome. And uh, that was a lot of talking. Let's play some games. Nice. Yeah, what else is the big wrestling news? Uh, oh, yeah, what I mean, just having watched Dynamite. It was just the, the Adam Cole stuff is brilliant. It really is, and uh, for uh, Toad's suggestion, I'm definitely going to have to raid him or something at some point and be like, Hello, I used to work at Sega, rather than, uh, uh, I did a what culture video. Wrestlers love all that what culture and holic stuff, though, don't they? They fucking love that shit. And why wouldn't you? Go support Machiti. Go support Miller. Alright. Saw Miller take a ridiculous bump over the weekend. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. 
doesn't like my gameplay right now. But yeah, not being able to save Sonic and Knuckles games because I only had uh, the lock on cartridge. Uh, I don't know if this was the case for people back in the day. You'd see like a lot of the early levels in games multiple times and you'd see the late uh, levels in games like uh, uh, seldomly. And hey, that's also the, the way I sort of consumed albums as a kid. I'd get really, really familiar with the first half of the album and usually not make it to the end of albums as often. So, uh, yeah, there you go, another parallel for your uh, Mega Drive Games are albums article. Creeper, creeper. Shit! Yeah, Knuckles can smash you know, box through shit. That's all I can't. So. Who's chuckling now? I can't believe Idris Elba tweeted knock knock as well. I mean, I know there's PR people that are plenty working on the shit behind the scenes, but Idris Elba tweeted a line from the Knuckles rap. <laughs> yes! Now all we need to, is Idris Elba to tweet out the full lyric sheet to Pumpkin Hill, and my life will be complete. I don't know about yours. Bollocks. Bollocks. Shit. See what I mean? They're a bit fiddly. I think those spike enemies are really cool though. I like bouncing on them. It's boss time! Son of a bitch. See, they have to give Knuckles a little platform to stand on. Bless him. It's like Tom Cruise when he does a kissing scene in the movies. My colleague uh, TC, of course. We are both in uh, Mission Impossible 6. Yeah. I do a watch along of that, but uh, I can't be bothered. I <laughs> like your Bluetooth math there. But yeah, I had Mew 1, Mew 2, Mew 3, Mew 4 would usually follow, Mew 5, Mew 6, and uh, they were all level 100, they all had the best moves, you know, one had Hyper Blast, one had Solar Beam, that kind of shit, it was, it was, I was, I was quite the Pokemon Master on the block, and when I fired up that cartridge for the first time, in the last four years it would have been, and it was like, start new game, and no continue, I was, it was tough. I'd just uh, gone through a breakup as well, and then you learn all your Pokemon are dead. Do you know what I mean? Like... Elements of Marvel Gardener, of course, incorporated into Stardust Speedway in Mania. Um, which obviously will make it trickier for the. I mean, come on, let's not let's not beat around the bush. There will be a Sonic Mania 2. There absolutely has to be. And you've got to believe they're working on it now. But because they've a already used a load of old zones, but b used elements from other zones, does that possibly lower the amount left to use? And, like 2D Ice Cap Zone without. Hard times by the Jetsons. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I want to live in that ice cap. Oh man. Uh, there are there are cool videos out there like the ones from Stop Skeletons from fighting about the various Sonic ports over the years. Yeah, I mean, um, can you remember what version it was? Was it like a version of Sonic Advance or something like that? Uh, of course, the N Gauge had a version of Sonic Advance on it. Uh, Sonic Advance was all right. Like I said, it's been t I haven't fallen in love with the 2D Sonic game though, since Knuckles, and then Mania finally came and uh, stole my heart completely. 
It did! I've got this uh, tune as one of my alarms, and when you've got a song as an alarm, and you just hear the song normally, it gives me a bit of anxiety. Alarms ruin songs. Alright. There, someone wants to say it. Nice. Again, we're not going to be getting a perfect here because we've got to take a detour. I always forget where it is, so. Fuck it, Nick. I think I'll keep it. Where? Oh, yeah. Now we're on to the big one. Very satisfying. Yes, yes, I thought it would be. Yeah, Sonic Advance is, is, is fine, and uh, imagine the flip phone, yeah. I, I, like I said, the conversions of two, especially on the, on the, on the iOS, uh, is really cool, but I've only ever played it with a virtual joypad, and I hate that. But yeah, Christian Whitehead, he put in a zone that had to be taken out back in the day, Hidden Palace Zone. Because I, I would always find the uh, the one song in the sound test that wasn't a level in the game. I'm like, what is this music? It was the music from Hidden Palace Zone. They had to take it out. Hidden Palace Zone, of course, is represented in this game, but it's quite different to how it's represented in in two. Um, but yeah, they put it back with the music. Uh, Finish the zone up because it's uh, you can get the Sonic 2 beta with a load of the unfinished zones in it. So uh, they had a lot of assets to work with, but yeah, they, they finished it up. And, um, you can even get there through uh, falling down a hole in Mystic Cave Zone. That's how you get to the Hidden Palace. Where the fuck am I supposed to be going? All oh, right. See what I mean? Because yeah, Knuckles can smash through walls and all of a sudden only needs one of the spinning tops. The amount of times I've lost that electric shield to that enemy over the last <laughs> 25 years. I don't even want to think about it. I'm not making him jump in spin dash form. I only managed two there. Sort of like my keepy uppy record. I'm usually a lot better. Trust me. Trust me. And uh, Sonic Rush, like I said though, on the DS, one of the best 2D Sonic offerings uh, since the Mega Drive days. It's pretty good. And that game has got some great boss fights in it. Nice fight, Knuckles. Mm. The stopping sound effect didn't even play right. Can I even jump on this platform? Okay, I was underestimating him a little bit there. That's hard to be fair. I'll take it all back, what I was saying about Sonic earlier on. The level design is unfair. Get that! I'll go that way now. Huh? We'll see about that! The hell did I open? Probably the door. Always proceed in spin dash for all. Yep, uh, these guys. They're so much easier when you can be Sonic, because I've got pretty good with the timing of the, you know, split second shield you can use for three and knuckles. And you can assign that as your jumping skill in uh, Mania. It's just amazing. I can't even do this bit. Was it some sort of sick joke? Poor Knuckles, they really rub it in his face sometimes, don't they? I 
think I'm probably supposed to be on one of those spinning tops right now. Maybe not. But yeah, once again, they add knuckle-specific areas to, like, utilize his climbing skill. I think it's just really, really cool. say Knuckles get, does get short change with some of the bosses, like this is the level when you're at Sonic and Tails. You get to uh, five or one with Tails uh, giving you the lift. And then this one is just a little weird underground fight. But hey, Knuckles is in the Kidman after all. So don't have a go. Right. It's too impatient. Shit. Oh fuck. Oh no. Bollocks. Give me rings. <laughs> That's where the boss was coming. He telefragged me. Call back. Yeah? This is definitely an exciting part of the level. Shifting scenery. You know, definitely hadn't been seen at the time. What the fuck? How slow was I going? Jeez, this is embarrassing. Look at that. Need them rings. I do like his landing as well, it's very cool. I think probably another sound effect we didn't make it to Sonic 2 when we were using rattles. Unprecedented, everybody. Again, please don't tell Idris. Do it with some 
rings though. Another marble garden things. It's almost as hard as Idris Elba. so much with that bit. Oh, I think it's because... I thought the uh, the scenery only started moving once you got to this point, but I guess, because I was taking my time earlier on, it starts even back then. Which is crazy. But yeah, here's this underwhelming boss fight I was talking about. It's alright, it's just not the best. Close one. Do uh, a Knuckles quick glide to hold the trajectory and get a good little hit in. Shit. Went for a cheeky two there. Fucked it up. Yeah! See ya, Egg Robo. Whoever that is. This is 100% a Jackson joint because it's got the exact trumpet breakdown from Jam. <coughs> Excuse me. And as a kid, I found this <coughs> song to be really annoying. <coughs> as you can see, I'm allergic to it now. Yeah. Not the best song, I didn't think. Kind of, kind of basic, kind of deliberately annoying. Uh, as can be the level sometimes. But the fact that it's reminiscent of jam is a good thing, because that song is a jam. Yeah, and the later levels, I, I really don't know where the golden rings are. I always chance upon them. Same as Mania, actually. Sonic level design, I mean, I kind of know my way around, but it's also kind of like, a lot of it's, uh, it just gets lost. Zones like uh, Green Hill, obviously, I know, back to front. Shit. Who is this guy? Leave me alone. See? Be quite painful for you. Wow, that's quick. Also, I think when you're knuckles, you get to skip like most of Act Two, which is great because then we get to play Ice Captain. Ah, uh, what well, the greatest music ever made. Should be able to choose this boss though, or not. Not die because I have zero rings. Zero rings. Zero stones. <sighs> Can't believe quoting the, the late great Gary Oldman. Saw me to such an untimely death. I think he'd be some sort of good luck charm. This knuckles route, eh? No rings? Tight spaces? got everything. These uh, Act 1 bosses, they usually only take about what, 4 to 6 hits. It's not 4, but it's definitely not a the normal robot number. Fuck me in the ass. Yeah? Right. 
Where are the rings? Well, that was a ring, but it wasn't exactly what I was after. It's just a treat to be back in this world hearing these tunes. It's something I will never, ever get bored of, ever. You know, I obviously couldn't play these games every single day, like, for the rest of my life, but, um, you know, a well-made game you can enjoy forever. You know, games like, uh, this, No Mercy, I will just never ever stop playing, because there's no need. Hooray! Idris Elba will be my friend again. Idris Elba! It's just point blank refusing to solve my ring problem. They always give you rings next to a star post before you fight a boss. This is, uh... See that bug? The limitation of the Mega Drive hardware there. Sprite flicker like on a NES. Look at that! I would. I'm gonna have to try that on real hardware, but I'm. I, I, I'm. I'm gonna say that's a bug. Oh my God! Did I? Did I fucking? I better have spotted that when I was testing the game. A lot of stuff like that though is. Uh, they, they call them legacy issues, and they won't fix them. Lazy. Shit. No! <laughs> this is turning into the worst Sonic playthrough of my life. I'm not going back for the rings, they're too far. have to be good at the game or just play through to the game over which is definitely not something I contemplated happening tonight ah. wow that happened ah. I continue from the star post that's definitely not something I remember happening but hey I welcome it Remember guys, this stream was a big thank you to you. So with my, my quality of gameplay here, you can see exactly what I think of you people. You people. This country. That's what I wasn't doing. So yeah, like I said, I have no idea how to get there, but there's just a bit in Act 2 when your knuckles speed you right through to the end, past the boss. Past the boss? It's crazy. It's 
barely even a remix. The active music of Carnival Night Zone as well. I like it when they drop out the uh, trumpets, or whatever you want to call them, for the bass by itself in a minute. Yeah, this this bit I'm talking about where you skip like half a level, I don't know if that's a compulsory bit that you have to go through the trumpets. Because I'm thinking, maybe, since that you might have done that because the boss is unfightable. And from what I remember, the Carnival Night Zone boss is robotics, got like a big sphere. I think maybe Knuckles can't jump it and they were like, fuck it. Let's skip the boss. Knuckles fans all over the world rejoiced. Fired out the cannon, went through the little gap. What were you worried about? I think this is the bit. Yeah. I'll take it. Hey, squirrel, what's up? Yes, uh, if you wondered where I've been, I've basically been uh, without broadband as I moved house. But where there is no broadband, there is now a drum kit. And now I also have broadband as well, because I'm back on stream. How have you been? What's been going on? Um, yeah. So no broadband meant I couldn't even watch Twitch on my big screen either. I could watch it on my little phone, but that was it. This is such a tune! Let's just take it in for a second, everybody. It's been cool, has it? Well, if you want to talk about cool, let's talk about Ice Cap Zone. So yeah, look up Hard Times by the Jetsons with a Z and an S if you dig this song. Because it's a song called Hard Times and Brad Buxer just used it again in Sonic 3 and it goes like this. Oh yeah. So fucking sick. It is a jam. So this song's more of a more of a puzzle because Brad Buxer was Michael Jackson's keyboardist at the time. But this is a song from his old band that was used. And even in a recent re-release of Hard Times by the Jetsons, um, you've got the background of Ice Cap as the artwork on the, on, the, on the single, which is just really cool. But yeah, since it's not a Jackson song, why has this song been censored in re-releases of Sonic 3? Huh? No, you legend. You legend. And thank you so much for the lurk and stopping by. I really appreciate it. Just wanted to celebrate 420 followers at 420 AM. Seemed like a good idea at the time. But, you know. I love this music. And... As good as this is, the remix for Act 2, I think I love even more. In fact, I know I love even more. There's nothing going on here. Hard times, happy days of our life. Don't take my rendition that I just did there as gospel for what the song sounds like. If you can, if you can believe this, it sounds better than what I just did. Those little penguin bad are great. You get the lightning shield and it melts that ice enemy spikes. It's so cold. That's not cool though. Hello. Little Knuckles exclusive bit, eh? Bollocks. It's the baseline. I always thought this baseline was um it is really similar to the Smooth Criminal baseline. But that just turns out to be a coincidence. Either that or when uh, Brad Boxer, the keyboardist from the Jetsons, who worked on this game with Michael Jackson, who is Michael Jackson's keyboardist, um, Brad Boxer was probably like, oh, you need a baseline for Smooth Criminal, do you? Got a little something, got a little something for you, check this shit out. And he just strung out this baseline, right? Like, and Michael Jackson went, that's the number one record. No! 
Nice work, Knuckles. Everybody saw that. Uh... Oh, I'm gonna fuck it up now. Well, now this. Not this time. I didn't do the thing where it just where it puts like uh there's interesting videos for watch about why that happens in Sonic games. Like I can't find Sonic on the on, on the game, so it puts him it resets his position to like zero or something like that. I'm not a programmer. But uh that did happen. The camera just lost knuckles for a bit. His knuckles is the real fastest thing in life. Played by Idris Elba, please. And you, so you got Ben Schwartz who I rate as Sonic, and I, you know, I rate as work uh, generally. You've got Elba as the big knock, uh, but you've got the uh, the voice actor who plays Tails from the games. So you've literally got the best of every possible conceivable world all happening at once. And why not? Go back. Any items? No, that's the worst bonus stage. You even fight the boss underground as Knuckles. And where you fight this boss as Sonic Tails above ground, that's the artwork that's used uh, for the hard times where it is. Oh man, imagine if the Sonic 3 and Knuckles uh, version that's coming out in the collection has the full hard time song. That'll be immense. Never gonna happen though. Never gonna happen. See that, see that, see that kill. Pretty good, isn't it? I love it when you get bonus I am. Got no idea where they are in some levels, but in others, they're little markings. But here, it's just a shitload of snow. Thanks for watching everybody by the way. I'm Chris Fox aka the Psycho Fox. I used to work at Sega and I love me some old school Sonic games. But when I'm not streaming video games, I'm a music streamer now. I do drums. Music Mondays, yeah? Check it out. There's a lot less dying on Music Mondays. There's still some, but less. Anyway, it's the remix. It's the Act 2 remix. Let's give it the... Uh, the gravitas it deserves, people, please. Are you okay? Are you okay? See what I mean? Instrumental breakdown from Moonwalker in the video. Very, very cool. Just one of the best bass lines of all time. And I love hearing the Yamaha music chip in the Mega Drive pumping that shit out. And it makes me feel like less of a weirdo for being one of those kids who got a little tape recorder and recorded the Sonic music out of their TV because they thought the music was so good and they wanted to continue to listen to it. IRL, you know. It's great when you grow up and you meet other nerds who did that. AKA the best nerds, the true nerds. You see, it's such a classic remix, this. Basically just drop in and out a bunch of the instruments, but if you do it right with the right timing, you get the builds and the drops. It's just phenomenal. And Act 2 is just a joy as well. It's a load of loops after the more challenging Act 1. I think Knuckles is all underground and quite... <laughs> I think it's quite different actually, now I'm remembering it. That underwater section with the uh, penguins, but yeah. It's a lot of these jumps which I enjoy. Just gotta get the timing right. Sorry, but I cannot get enough of it. It's a tune. No speed. Let's try that again. 
plan. Well, wow, that was uh, an anti plan, wasn't it? Let's try that again. Better, but. Chasm up there, but I didn't manage to slide into it. Boy, I'm sucking today. Rings, please. Ooh, yeah. No thanks. It's great when you've got a lightning shield. Yes! Sunlight. And I mean, one thing I love about video games is playing snowy levels and stuff. Because you get to enjoy that without having to go outside in the freezing cold snow. And is there anything better than vistas that are snowy with like the morning sunshine shining on top of it? Getting a sense that you know we've got a we've got a lovely morning sun shining from top camera here, illuminating gorgeous ice caps. Fuck it up, don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up. I don't know why I left those two, I'm gonna be going for the perfects. But, you know, I'll mix it up. Always keep the viewers on their toes. Are you on your toes right now? Oh, stop! That's weird! Sit down! Edge your seat, that's, that's fine. Fucked it up. I started thinking about Twitch giving me an award for talking nonsense, and I lost my concentration. Does Twitch give such an award? Well, if not, they should, then I want it. We're not going to be seeing Super Knuckles on this stream. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. Side, there, other side. Shit. Fuck it, the whole pattern's gone out the window. Kill. The side, yeah, there. All right, now me. Now bollocks. Kill. Bring. Yeah. He's standing on knuckles, you man, <laughs> you mentalist. He's, he's mental. He's crackers, man. And he spies that cookbook, right? <laughs> Gotta hit that bass line one more time. Launch base. I think this is always another controversial track as well, but uh, I just thought this one sounded more like uh, Renegade Master, the Fat Boy Slim remix specifically. That Go sample, it's very cool. But I think it is a sample from. Ah, oh, I 
found out, I found out literally the other day and I listened to it, it was really cool. Launch base, another completely forgotten zone. Another banger and another act where I prefer the uh, the Act 2 remix. Zoom. Yeah, the music was just king back in the day. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I love the full orchestral scores you get now are brilliant. But you can't be. There are some 8-bit and 16-bit bangers that cannot be beaten by anything. Ever. I like it when Knuckles and Sonic in this game some face forward to the camera that we just saw there. Breaking the fourth wall. Typical. Typical Knuckles. He's, oh, he's always doing that. I like the mechanics of these things as well. the red being on the watch shield there due to the limited colour palette or rather the, the blue on the water shield uses the same blue from Sonic's character therefore when you're knuckles you get yourself a red uh, water shield mister sorry but it's just the way it is and I remember this bit in the space we can get lost if you're not careful Fun to navigate around. The last level that isn't, because I think Titanic Monarch Zone in Mania, I don't find it that fun. And Launch Base is a fun zone. Banging theme tune. This is the good bonus stage. First uh, Star Fox bonus stage of the day. Right here on 420 and 420. Would be possible without all of you. Yes, you. I'm talking about you individually, you right now, watching this video. Everything that's happened in my life that has been good has been down to you, so I say thank you. And now I'm going to stop talking. Shit. <laughs> As if. Flipper navigation. Box. Oh well. Came out there with a shield, felt pretty good. Yeah, that little guy looked at me. He was furious that I just slipped past him. Didn't give him the time of day. Fuck. Oh well, easy come, easy go. Same with all them lovely rings. Come on. Holy moly. say when I'm playing a Sonic game is tunes. Nothing I could say would ever be as good as the launch base music. That's not true. Mm. Actually it probably kinda is. Uh -oh. Alert, alert, alert you guys. I'm seriously. Climb. Do what the others can't. Or won't. Different boss. Two of them. Unbelievable. It's not like only has to fight one. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. 
Oh, bugger. Oh, no more rings. Shit. I was not quick enough to speed dash out of there. I don't think we'll be stopping after Sonic 3 or Game Over, whichever comes first. But uh, it was fun to fire up the Sonic and Knuckles version so we could beat Knuckles. We can get the uh, Sonic and Knuckles pre boss, mid boss music, is what we can hear here. The mini bosses, I should say. A few of the other quality of life adjustments that we get in Sonic and Knuckles. Oh, that was so fucking close. Magad. Moving into the final act of the night. Thank you for all who have been curious enough to watch my 420 420 stream. Um, just a fun thing that I promised and then stupidly had to stick by. But any excuse to play S and K. I'll take it. All day, any day. That arrives by the new Of course, the is level is underground. I mean might cast a little bit, right? Knuckles is more than just an underground dweller. At least, it, it, it yourself is going to flesh out the role like, like you've never seen. Forget Sonic Boom. kids. No, I'm banging drums as well. But seriously, we can watch those two. Gonna be leaving now. Oh come on! Like I said, it's all all the side criticism. It was just, just a load of shit, more like. Ah, gone. Yes, please. God. Yes. Let's go. See, do what the music tells you, Knuckles. Six like sampling on a Mega Drive. It's the ghost from Mario. Oh God. Let's get out of this. Drink. this bit. Oh <laughs> yeah, if you're spin dashing, which is obviously the thing you want to be doing so you're traveling uh, at speed but also safely, uh, you fly right over that little saucer thingy. Look at that parallax like, scrolling of the water. Look at it. And marvel at it. Because it's it's great. Oh. Knuckles exclusive. Let's 
take it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Pretty funky little frog enemies. I don't know how he got me there, but whatever, eh? One hit. Pissiful. Pissiful. Come on, channel elbow. Oh my god. <laughs> One ring left. Alright, come on, my focus. I'm making him do that. I'm making him look up an emote. Really cool. Oh shit! Forgot about this part. <laughs> Dead. Oosh. Pretty cool move though. Power bomb. Right. I completely forgot about that second phase. I didn't think you thought this that was. So let's uh, be better. <laughs> That little spiky ball really ruins things. What what even is it? It doesn't make any sense. Nice gliding knuckles. Absolutely pathetic. Tell anyone I played this battle, right? Gotta let broadcast this on the internet, that's all I can say. Two rings. That's all I need. That's all I bloody need. Yeah, didn't see that one coming, did you? Can't even do shit. This happen and I can make this happen. Oh, your trickery today, toad man. Going down to one ring. Where do they all go? I didn't even know where I was. I worked out right in the end there. this boss, this dude, is pretty easy to fight as knuckles because you can use the glide to get him in that sweet spot, like that. Now I'm talking like I'm some sort of expert who's good at this game. Uh, I ask you. 420? It was the time, see. Look at his grabby fingers. This bit. Woohoo! Everybody, that was the 420 at 420 thank you stream. This was Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the first half anyway. I can always come back and do more and I would love to bloody do that. One of my favourite games of all time. Doing it for Idris, doing it for you guys. 
Thank you so very much. Uh, but yeah, I will be back tomorrow at 9pm British Summer Time to actually start my Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough. We tried to do that earlier on, but there were unforeseen circumstances. But yes, tomorrow it will be Fallout, and by that I mean Horizon Zero Dawn. So, join me at 9pm British Summer Time, why don't you? And until then... Hmm, I need a new sign-off line. Uh, and until then... <laughs> Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.